Right, let's move on to 1.3. I hate questions like this because I'm not really very practical and I find it quite difficult to see 3D, but we can't all have the questions we want, right? <laughs> Illustrated below are the steps and components needed to assemble a chair. The components to assemble the chair are labeled alphabetically. Okay, so here's the steps, okay, which I probably wouldn't be able to follow in reality. And then here's all the parts. Okay, so these are the components, right? Components basically just means parts. So now we need to use both of these to answer our question. Don't spend too much time stressing over this. Go to your questions, they'll help kind of steer your thinking. So it says use the information above to answer the questions that follow. 1.3.1. Determine how many different types of screws are needed to assemble the different parts of the chair. Okay, so it's talking about the components. So we look here, there's no screws at the top, but here's some screws at the bottom. One, two, three different types of screws. Now be careful, this is not a screw, that is not a screw, this is not a screw. It says screws, right? So you literally just say 1.3.1, 1.3.1, and you just say three. How many different types? There's three. Okay. Use the steps to assemble a chair. Use the steps to assemble a chair to identify the following. The letter that indicates the chair base. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought the chair base was like the chair seat, okay? No, it's not. There's the chair base, right? So make sure that you use both in doing this because originally when I did it, I misread it. Okay, so the chair base, which um, it says the letter that indicates the chair base. Okay, well, there's the chair base. And it's interesting here because it says use the steps to assemble, to assemble a chair to identify. So we have to use this. But we also have to use this. So here we would think that it's E. But if you look in the actual steps over here, okay, and that's what it asks for you to use the steps to assemble, it's actually F. Okay. So you need to be careful here. So it's actually F, it's not E, because here this is the components. And the components it's E. Under steps, it's F. So the answer is F. Okay. Now there's a little, I think that was a little bit tricky, but just be careful that you're reading carefully. Okay, because that is, it's all about reading. The number of screws used in step four. So here's step four. I see one, two, three, four. I don't know if you see the same. Okay, so it is four screws. Okay. Mm, my eyes looking a little bit like it got absorbed there. Okay, 1.3.3. Name the tool needed to assemble the chair. Okay, so this is where we're going to look at components. These are all parts of this. Um, chair, but here it says it's an assemble tool and it is an Allen key. I used to think an Allen key was like named after Allen, but that's not how you spell Allen, so it's probably not named after Allen. So the tool that we need is Allen. I mean, Allen key, not Allen. <laughs> okay, an Allen key. Right. 1.3.4 Identify the components of the chair that comes as a pair. A pair means basically in two, right? So the only part that comes in two from what I can see is the chair arms, okay? So we're just going to say here for that question, we're just going to say chair arms. So you see this question could have been a lot more complicated, but because we went to the questions and we allowed the questions to steer our thinking, we actually did really, really well. Okay, perfect. Let's move on to question two.